In the rush toward electrification, one mineral stands silent but essential, graphite. While lithium and cobalt grab headlines, graphite quietly powers the heart of every lithium-ion battery on the market, serving as the anode, the negative terminal, without which modern energy storage simply fails. The global shift to electric vehicles, renewable energy storage, and mobile devices has triggered a new era of energy dependency, one that hinges not only on battery chemistry, but the structural materials that hold and release charge. Enter graphite. Graphite's layered carbon structure allows it to store lithium ions during charging, then release them during discharge. It's not a luxury component, it's a requirement. Without graphite, your Tesla doesn't run, your phone doesn't hold power, and your solar panels can't store energy overnight. And unlike lithium, graphite is used in every single lithium-ion battery, regardless of the cathode material. According to Benchmark Mineral Intelligence, natural and synthetic graphite make up nearly 50% of every EV battery by weight. That makes graphite the largest raw material input in today's batteries and a growing choke point in supply chains. Today, China controls over 60% of global natural graphite supply and 90% of processing capacity. The US, by contrast, produces almost none. This has become a strategic vulnerability. Each EV requires up to 70 kilolos of graphite. Multiply that across millions of new vehicles annually, and the world is facing a supply crunch. The International Energy Agency, IEA, warns that demand for graphite will increase 25-fold by 2040 if climate targets are met. But graphite isn't just about quantity, it's about purification. Battery-grade graphite must be refined to 99.95% carbon purity, a process historically done in Chinese factories using hydrofluoric acid, raising serious environmental and geopolitical concerns. The race is now on to develop domestic and environmentally responsible sources. From synthetic graphite made with renewable electricity to U.S. mines like those led by Titan Mining and others aiming to become vertically integrated producers. Lucy Cromwell for Skillings.net